Hello everybody, this is Gary. Today is January 30th, 2022. It is 1.49 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the United States in Rochester, New York. And this is my coping with schizophrenia blog entry for today. Um, today is Sunday, not a whole lot going on, everything is closed. Um, I did my uh, physical training exercises, um, physical therapy exercises for my body pain. I exercised on my exercise bike. Um, like I've said in previous videos, I'm dealing with a lot of physical pain in my muscles, my joints, and my nerves. And physical therapy is part of treatment for that physical pain, even though I don't have an official diagnosis for the pain. I am taking Neurotin for nerve pain, Fluxeril, which is a muscle relaxant for muscle pain, and for any other muscle or joint pain, I'm taking arthritis strength. Tylenol, which is the maximum amount of Tylenol you can take a day, two tablets of 650 milligrams three times every 24 hours, no more than that. Anything more than that can damage your liver. Um, my psychiatric symptoms are pretty much under control today. I don't have a lot of paranoia. As far as I can tell, I don't have a lot of delusions today. My auditory hallucinations are very minimal. They're at baseline to the point where they're there, but I can ignore them. My anxiety levels are not that high today. Uh, my depression levels are not that high today. Um, I don't generally have visual hallucinations, so that's not an issue. Um, I have very busy week this upcoming week starting tomorrow with my psychotherapy, psychiatric, and medical visits. Tomorrow I am meeting with my psychotherapist. Um, the day after that I have group therapy for what's called DBT therapy, or dialectic behavioral therapy. If you want to know what that is, you can Google it. Um, and on Wednesday I have an appointment with my urologist. On Thursday I have an appointment with my psychiatrist. And on Friday I have an appointment with my primary care nurse practitioner. We will be discussing my physical pain and the approaches that we're using to treat it. My physical pain is not that intense today. Um, there's some pain in my muscles, some nerve pain, and some pain in my joints, particularly my right knee and my left hip and my upper spine where I do have arthritis. Um, arthritis still doesn't explain all the pain that I'm having throughout my body. Um, I don't have a diagnosis of whether it's fibromyalgia, lupus, chronic fatigue syndrome, shingles, multiple sclerosis. Um, nobody has actually told me what's causing the pain. They've only given me medications for the pain and I've started physical therapy. If physical therapy produces any results in reducing the pain, that's going to take time. I've only been doing the physical therapy for four or five days and I've been working on my lower body. Um, the physical therapist hasn't even taught me any exercises yet how to deal with the pain in my upper body, my arms, my abdomen, my chest, my back, upper and lower back, neck and head. Um, I haven't gotten any instruction by the physical therapist on my upper body. I have several appointments coming up to the physical therapist um, in late February. We're taking it step by step. Um, there's not a whole lot of other stuff going on. Um, I stopped doing live streams because nobody watches them and I just might as well just make videos and upload them to YouTube. And so that's why I'm not doing a live stream. Um, I'm going to be asking my psychiatrist about taking an, an antidepressant for anxiety and depression. Um, because the eventual goal is to get me off of Clonopin. And... I would need something else to help deal with the anxiety. 
I'm not actually taking anything specifically to deal with the anxiety. Um, yes, Zyprexa has some effect on anxiety, and so does Seroquel, but they're not specifically there to treat my anxiety and my panic attacks. And so I will be asking my psychiatrist about the possible use of an antidepressant, specifically either amitriptyline or some Volta, because both of those can treat uh, nerve pain, uh, neuropathic pain, um, pain of the nerves throughout the body, in cases like fibromyalgia, diabetic neuropathy, which I don't have because I'm only pre-diabetic. Um, I don't think I have any diabetic neuropathic pain. I don't think that's the issue at all. Um, I do have hyperglycemia. I'm borderline. I do have high cholesterol. Um, but uh, I will be asking my psychiatrist about the use of an energy person. And I will also tell him at the same time that this is not the time to withdraw me from Clonopin. I'm already dealing with too much as it is. I'm still trying to quit smoking. I'm on nicotine lozenges. I'm in a lot of physical pain. Um, right now, the Clonopin helps me cope better, helps me sleep better. Um, this is not the time to withdraw the Clonopin. Um, there's too much going on. I have too many balls in the air, so to speak. And uh, I'm coping with a lot. And um, I'm on a minimal amount of Clonopin anyways. It's only a half milligram twice a day. Um, I've been on much higher dosages than that. So it's not really that much. Um, so eventually the goal, though, of course, is to withdraw me from Clonopin. Clonopin is not a good very long-term solution to anxiety. Um, so, I will be talking to my psychiatrist about that, about the physical pain, about all the things that are going on, and how I'm coping. Um, as far as group therapy sessions are go, I missed my last group therapy session because I was in a lot of physical pain and I just couldn't bring myself to take the bus to go out to the clinic, which is several miles outside of Rochester. Um, and I have to take the bus to get there. And I was in a lot of physical pain. Um, group therapy is once a week for 10 weeks. So I've been to two sessions. I missed one. And so there's uh, roughly seven more sessions to go. So the sessions will be once a week every Tuesday up through early March. Um, so... Um, other than that, there's nothing else to report. I'm doing okay, coping the best I can, and just taking it day by day.